Hey, what up, Facebook Live? It's Wayne. Um, I don't know. I was feeling uh in a bad mood. It's kind of sad. I just keep like going over things over and over again in my head. So I was like, nah, nah, that's not the way to go. Um, I'm really like tripped out. I'm like, yo, like The Walking Dead, friggin' the NRA, all of these um, you know, school shootings. Like, the clan marching with those tiki torches. You know, I'm like, are they going to, like, do some freaking <clears throat> just shooting people up in the streets or whatever? You know, because I'm not, I'm not prepared for anything like that. And it's something that, like, constantly scares me. Like, I mean, like, maybe I'm paranoid. But then again, like, you know, it's on the news. Like, you know, some, like, shooting, shooting, shootings, you know. So I'm like, um, I don't know. I'm, like, locked up in here tight, you know. It's like, you know, it's like, uh, they're called the uh, Gestapo. <laughs> it's like a Nazi death squad, you know, and then Black Lives Matter. So I just, uh, first I, um, want to, uh, just recommend to everyone to like, you know, stay close to people, you know, and like be, um, never like go around people you don't know that have like sinister vibes and stuff like this. Actually, it's kind of a sad story. I had a good friend and we would, um, be on the uh, Facebook Messenger, you know, Facebook, Facebook Messenger has like a uh, free eye chat, you know, and they have like filters. So we just sit there and talk on the filters. His name's Lloyd. <coughs> and strangely enough, I never met him in person because he lives out um, past, past Townsend in Baltimore. Uh, I think he was like Dundalk or something. So um, Lloyd, if you hear this, hit me up, man. But we were like talking while I was in the UK and um, it's like right before I went to London he was like, yeah, yeah, get out of there. Like, that's not a good place for you. I don't like you staying there. And, um, you know, I was actually going to be his roommate or whatever, you know, because I needed, even now, I still kind of need a, like, stable place to stay. And um, I haven't heard from him in, like, months, you know. I haven't heard from him. In, and that's that's out of character for him, you know, because he, like, hits me up all the time. If I text him, he'll respond back, even just with emojis or something. So, you know, and it was weird because when, like, like the last time I talked to him on the messenger, he was like, oh, hold on. Um, I'm going to message you when I get back in, but I'm a friend of mine's coming to pick me up and he was with this random black dude, you know, who had like, I think he had like dreads or something. I don't remember. He was like dark skin and like he had, um, I think he had dreads or something, but he was riding the car with him. But something about the way the guy was moving was kind of weird. And he, and Lloyd had the, you know, a phone in his lap like this. And I was like, that's kind of creepy. So I like just ended the chat or whatever. And that was the last time I heard from him, you know? So it's got me kind of like fucked up, but, um, you know, we weren't that close. Like I said, we had just, you know, he's really cool. He's like really goofy. He's, um, Lloyd is, um, Jamaican and white. His dad's a Jamaican guy and his mom is white. And, um, he was always telling me his dreams of, you know, finishing school. And, um, I think he's a, somebody, Tay Diggs' wife is somebody, Ilyanza, Ananza Mendez, or I can't remember, somebody, but he, she's on um, Glee or something, you know, and uh, Lloyd's a gay guy, you know, he's like really masculine, you know, but he'll be like, oh, bitch, please, I'm fierce, <laughs> and then he's, but he's just like regular, you know, so he's really cool, but um, I've, I've known him for like eight years now, like I met him in like 2013, and um, he found me on Facebook, you know, which usually, usually I don't like that, you know, like random people, who um, hit me up on Facebook that are, because most people on my Facebook, like I know, you know, I've met them in person or I've started adding, you know, more people, but even then they're like in my local area and they know somebody that I know, like on, um, on my social media, I don't have a lot of people that I don't really know, you know, cause I'm not, I don't want like random Instagram likes or like, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. It's more like a social network. So it's like within my network, you know, of people that I know or whatever but um that's why i'm even kind of like i i didn't want to get on youtube because of like internet trolls and like you know like i'm very like oh i don't know who's gonna watch this or what they're gonna do or i'm like fuck it you know what i mean like i want to be on youtube maybe i could start like a hip-hop career do some of the hobby things that they do you know expand my social circle and let the world know who i am so um yeah so without further ado um, it's not really a haul video per se, cause um, you know, I think those are kind of like show offy. But I like this is my little my little environment, you know, and I kind of have like um, 
interesting. Um, you know, I've been lucky enough or blessed enough to get some nice stuff. You know, I worked really hard when I was living in Minnesota. Like, I was working, working, working my ass off, you know. And I didn't make much money, you know, like minimum wage. And, um, like, the Minnesota morning sucks. <laughs> it's, like, cold as, like, the pol a polar bear's balls in Minnesota. But I'll still get up first thing in the morning, go to my job. You know, probably work till like four, you know, 4.30, you know, sometimes later if they needed more help. So I get a little money, you know, and then, um, you know, I just hit the thrift store or like um, Rue 21 or um, Walmart, got some nice stuff, <laughs> you know, nothing fancy. But um, just wanted to, you know, show you guys my um, my crib or whatever. So, um, but first I'll show you my little outfit. That's what I got on, the tie-dye shirt and... um. You know, some Bob Marley shoes. And, um, yeah, so this is my first uh, thing I want to show you. It's this really cool table I got from um, from uh, TJ Maxx, you know, but I put these stickers on there. It didn't come like this. These are stickers that I got from the dollar store. Um, I'm really big into Buddha. You know, I don't know why I like the Buddha, but um, these are pretty cheap. This Buddha is... Twelve ninety nine from Ross, so it's nothing too fancy. I'm just kind of in the Asian culture, and um, this is one of my paintings that I've done. Um, it's one of my paintings. This is my uh, hip hop notebook right here, and it's like a little box. It's got one of my one of my guys in there, you know, like special action figure, and um, just some customs I did, you know, and. Um, Actually, I did some on the uh, some on the chair too. I got some just a little design. This is where I do my sewing. It's my little sewing table, and um, you know, uh, I like bags and shoes. So this is like a really cute bag I got from um, from Walmart. Actually, this bag is like sick. You know, it's like a really cute bag I got from Walmart. Another bag. Um, some more bags. <laughs> I, like, I like bags a lot. Uh, this is my little, uh, my little action figure house, my little uh, Soho tiny house. I like to uh, collect little thingy things, and they kind of live up in there. My little, it's actually, like, actually, it's uh, had a lot more action figures, but my mom got rid of them. Um, this actually belonged to Ayanami Ray and uh, Beast Boy from the Teen Titans. Like they lived up in there, but I lost them, so my mom threw them away. I had a uh, Ayanami. This is uh, my little hobby in a uh, Ninja Turtle. Here's my shoe game. I got uh, some little Adidas. This is the crow right here. I like statues. That's another one of my paintings I've worked on. I like these shoes a lot. These are actually um, Kenneth Cole Supras. Uh, so they're like I, you see, I never worn these shoes because, like, <laughs> I don't like to show off. You know, I'm, I just like um, nice stuff. So I got some. Uh, they're not. They look like Supras, but they're actually Kenneth Cole, and I got these for pretty cheap. Um, I haven't really spent more than like forty dollars or so on some shoes. Some of them maybe like these. I think were like sixty dollars. But the lady, she hooked me up. You know, she like gave me a coupon, and then you know you sign up for a card and you get a discount. And then she had like another like coupon. So they were like six, like maybe like $80 or something. And they came down to like, I think like 55 or something. So that was really cool of her, you know. Um, more of my little action figure collection. This is the new Rampage. One of the Star Wars. And these are my little guys. A little Pokemon. We got some um, basic black joints. I love high tops, you know. Some jiggy shit. These are some um, Target Tims. You know, they're not real Timberlands, but they're like the same style as Tim. So I really love these shoes. Um, you see they're fresh, <laughs> like fresh Tim's. So just some cute shit if I want to step out for a minute. Uh, it's a little painting I got for $16. I got this one too. This is, um, I don't know this guy, Portland Trailblazers, but, um, you know, um, some more stuff got from the thrift store and this lady I like she's my African lady she was $9.99 so a little flavor a little flavor a little flavor got my uh my backwoods and um 
I want to be a dad one day. I'm an LGBT guy, but this girl is so pretty. And I'd love to have, you know, <laughs> Jada. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, Jada. <laughs> You see that Jada video where the little girl scoots across the thing with her crazy self. So, um, yeah, this is my grandfather. This is my um, my dad's father, and the good book. So, um, I'm gonna do a little clothing haul. Um, this is my sketchbook, by the way. I like to draw. I'm an artist, I guess, so so to speak. Uh, some of my drawings. I like to draw a little bit. I got some baby skills. I got some baby skills. I don't got big, big skills, but I like to smoke weed and draw a little bit. But um, I don't know when I like. I have to be really like in a really good mood to draw. And if I'm like upset or like lonely or sad, then like I haven't drawn in like hella, hella long. I did one piece, but I haven't been able to really commit to it. You know, like <laughs> dudes got me down, man. Fucking shithead dudes. This is mom, one of my figures, you know, I just, she has big hips and, um, you know, female figure. It's my little friend. Oh, can't see that one. Art punk, art punk. So, um, this is one of my newer ones. I just draw little characters and stuff. That's my girl Gilda from Monster High, if you know Gilda Goldstag. Um, just my little dude or whatever. Um, you know, I just like to draw. I just like to do little sketches and stuff. So that's like my claim to fame. I got some more, and I'll do do that one later. But I really kind of wanted to do this. Um, oh, this is my Amazon Fire. Amazon Fire. It's like a really cheap, uh, but it's a good good piece. They don't have a USB on this one. Like, I got this one. This is actually a USB tablet. You know. It's so where it has a um, USB, you can see it. See, that's it, let me see. See, that's a USB, so you can like load whatever you want on it. But Amazon Fire only gets stuff from the internet, so I didn't think it was that useful, per se. Uh, this is my guitar. I've got a guitar, I can play uh, only a little bit, but um, yeah, I like guitar, so. So let's do the clothing haul. You know, I'm gonna do a quick clothing haul. Cause like I said, I'm like low key depressed. Like, you know, like I never could find like a faithful person to kind of rock with. So that's why I'm kind of making this video too. Oh, my hair looks a mess. Look at this hair, dude. Jesus, hair looks a mess. Anyway, um, <laughs> Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon. Yeah. But um, you know, if you like what you see, you know, you're feeling me, hit me up. You know, my Instagram is, should I just change my name on Instagram? What's my Instagram? I can't, I'll tell you later. I'll put the uh, uh, link in the description below. Um, Facebook, my name is uh, Wayne Knox, W-A-Y-N-E-K-N-O-X. Uh, you know, Dwayne Wayne. Uh, River Tibbs, that's like my AKA. I just like the name River, Wayne River Tibbs. And Tibbs is my mom's maiden name. So, um, yeah, let's do some, some fashions, you know? Get into the fashion, so. Can you see me? So, um, yeah. I got hella, hella clothes. <laughs> I got hella clothes. Like, um, I've been like, uh, I like fashion and style, obviously. It's like my thing. Um, I'm actually doing, uh, like, I don't know, so. This is a skirt I made recently. This, uh, I don't do drag, so, I mean, even if I did, it's fine. But this is a skirt I made. Um, I wanna get a store on Etsy, you know? So, um, this is a skirt I worked on. And, um, you know, this is, it's a little denim joint, a little denim hookup skirt. And, uh, This is a bag. You can see. This is Africa. And we got this. I got some uh, contrast stitching and stuff. And um, Wakanda Forever. You see the Black Panther movie. But I gotta finish it, but it's gonna be like, you know, like you can, like hold it like that. And uh, I got this one. I gotta finish sewing it. 
this one's, uh, you know, for the little cute girls, you know, some little Erica Badu head wrap stuff or whatever, <laughs> you know. So let's get to the fashions. That's my, that's what I made. And this um, stuff I like to wear from time to time. If I find something cool in the thrift store or whatever, just want to do a quick haul. Watching some soccer. I'm well, not really watching soccer. Actually, I like basketball. Yeah, it's a little basketball. Um, baseball. I don't know. Like, I'm like a girly gay guy, but I'm like, you know, I'm the kind of girly guy. I'm like, hey, my boyfriend's watching sports. Like, yeah. You know, and I'm just fooling around online. But I got this cool shirt. Uh, I actually got this in Minnesota. Like, you see it. This shirt is really cool. It's kind of long, so it's not really like. You know, but it's, you know, I don't know what it says. SLV Silver. I don't know. It's just cool. You know, it's a cool shirt I found. Um, some t shirts. I got this shirt secondhand. So I'm really, see, I'm really into tigers. So I thought this was like really cool. I don't know how to, what to wear this or like <laughs> where I would wear it to. It's got like leather sleeves. I think it was like HM or something. I don't know where this one came from. Uh, I got uh, the E Walking Dead. I'm seeing the Walking Dead, you know. So, you know, that show. I haven't, I can't watch it. I, I watch True Blood, and I'm like, that shit's too violent with all them fucking baseball bats. And, you know, zombies anyway. That's like racist shit anyway, because like the zombie apocalypse, zombies are like Haitian voodoo zombies, you know. And there's that Resident Evil game in Africa where they just like fucking kill black people and shit. And I was like, later for that, you know. And I got this, uh, it's kind of like Native American, like Aztec print, but it's like all black. So I really like this. You know, it's, I like anything with the hood. <laughs> uh, got another one, it's hoodies, it's little hoodies. This one's got like, you know, same thing. You know, it's got the hoods, the hoodies. Uh, these are some really nice jeans. Like these jeans are pretty sick. Um, I don't wear these a lot because they're so fancy. I mean, they're not fancy, but uh, they're like kind of like an expensive label. But my mom and I, my mom used to take me shopping like back when we were like got along, you know, before she just started shitting on me every day. Uh, but I got these jeans and um, they're really big and baggy. Like I've lost so much weight, but I like to wear these. Like I like to wear all one color. So like I wear a lot of gray, a lot of blue or green, you know. So as you see, like like these two together would be like all gray, you know, it's like those gray sneakers. So you know, I got these. I love these. I freaking love these. These are like I got these from my job when I was working at TJ Maxx. So they're just some little, you know, little hobo shits, you know, little uh, little little uh, trill dude. Um, got another pair. I like black denim. It's always nice to find some good black denim. These are just Rue 21. These are more fitted than the other ones, so they kind of like, um, you know. Here comes the jiggy shit. Here's the jiggy. Don't come rob me. <laughs> Don't come knocking on my door trying to snatch my shit. But I got these at, uh, at TJ Maxx, too. These are, like, really comfortable, like, jiggy shits, you know. You know they, they were cheap, though. They were really cheap. But they're, like, um, you know, just really, like, thick, you know, comfy, like fleece, you know, so you see, you see like with these, with these, uh, with these right here, it just looks crazy, <laughs> like, I think I'm like really psychedelic, kind of low key, but, um, I got these two, these are kind of nice, this is nice, my uncle actually got me this, this is a track jacket, I'm really into track jackets, but all this is embroidered, if you can see, like I've never wear <laughs> this, this is some baller shit. You know, but it was it was at a cheap store too. I always get my shit like secondhand. You know, I like the bags and the shoes. In fact, let me even put this on and show you like my little look. Uh, this one's kind of big, but um, like I just like to you know I just have really good stuff. So like I'm in between jobs now because I've only been in America for um a couple of months now. I came back in Jan like at the end of January. And then since then, I had, like, police brutality done against me and, like, you know, just hella shit. My mom's and dad's have just been, like, fucking my shit up, you know. So I finally got it, got here, whatever, you know. And, um, 
I just been working on, you know, stuff. I put in a lot of job applications though. Like in fact, I talked to the, they're not hiring at TJ Maxx until like well, it's roundabout now, like it's springtime. But I put my application in and talked to the manager, you know. But um, my mom, she's not even she's helping me stay here. But I've like spent my social security already to um pay for as much as I could and. She's been helping me before, but she wants me homeless. You know, she's a very abusive person. But, you know, I, I got my shit packed and I've, you know, like I call my aunt, you know, or my godmother knows and she's like, well, we'll see what we can do. You know, I'm like really comfortable here, but like, you know, my mom, she's like, wants me back in the abusive home. And um, that's pretty rough, but, you know. I'll get to work as soon as I can. Even I also put in an application at the grocery store, just doing like produce or the bakery. So I've had, I have a pretty good resume actually. My resume is pretty pretty good. So um, I got these socks. <laughs> these socks. You see, I like tigers a lot. <laughs> like, like I'm really into tigers, you know. Um, these are some cute jeans I got. My gay boy shit. You know, they're like really really skinny jeans. You know, they're super super skinny. <laughs> you know. Show off my uh, my Beyonce. Uh, sorry, I'm going so fast, but I'm just trying to get through it, you know. And then um, this is uh, I got plain stuff too. I <laughs> know everything is like all like, you know, like I got a whole lot of uh, like fucking prints and patterns. You know, this is kind of my style or whatever. You know, I got some chill shit too. You know, you see, it's a lot of gray, <laughs> a lot of gray. Got this from H and M. Just some H and M cheap shit. You know, I had another one, but I like wore it so much till it was like falling apart. So, you know, and uh, really some t-shirts too. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the t-shirts. You know, I got this one. This is really cute. It says Japan. It was really cheap too. This one's like super cheap, but it's like really comfortable. So I'll put this on right now so I don't blind you guys. <laughs> this dude next door, he's like always slamming the door. He's a dick some rude white guy he's like the only white guy in the whole place he doesn't talk to anybody else so I'm like hey man you're all right and he's just slamming the door all day stomping upstairs hell up in Harlem so yeah you know some old gully shit you know ah. hit that nay nay <laughs> Um, it took me forever to like get into joggers or whatever like it took me like hella hella long to get into joggers You know, but I, once I got a pair I was like, oh shit. I fucking live in joggers, you know But um, I got these just from Kohl's actually some, some you know, not even H&M. These are really comfortable It's more gray, <laughs> you know, like gray. They even got on like gray shoes. You know, shoes are gray Bob Marley's he's on um, some Bob Marley shoes uh, Excuse me now for the t-shirts. I have like a stupid t-shirt collection. <laughs> like I um, I love t-shirts, you know, t-shirts, shoes, and bags is like all I do. And um, I'm gonna stop shopping though. Like I don't need anything else. If anything, I'm gonna keep working on the action figures. And um, I kind of got out of comic books too. Like I'm not really in the nerd culture as much as I used to be, you know? It's just a little too, like, I'm not really with the Attack on Titan or, you know, Tokyo Ghoul or, like, oh, I'm like, oh, that's too much, you know? Like, I like old school fucking Zelda, you know what I mean? Like, just basic Zelda and shit, you know? Because it's all so, um, you know, just, eh, you know? Like I said, I'm sitting here watching fucking soccer, you know? Just basic, you know, I like r regular shit, hip-hop, sports, you know? Uh, you know, being being a good girlfriend. <laughs> Being a good girlfriend, you know, this is my favorite right here. This is my, that's my boyfriend, and that's me, <laughs> you know. These are my little lions or whatever. You know, some shoes. Never been worn. Never been worn. If I have an excuse, like if some guy takes me on a good date or whatever, then um, you know, I'll have an excuse to uh, wear some cute shoes or whatever. But um. So let's do these t-shirts and I'm gonna wrap it up. It's like 30 minutes already. So um, I'm gonna come back probably, uh, it's Sunday today. It's like Sunday and that's terrible. Did you guys go see that movie? Who went to go see Truth or Dare? Truth or Dare, Truth or Dare. They like fucked up Truth or Dare with that shit, man. 
Like, I'm like, the mean girl's gonna be fucked up off that. But y'all don't be acting crazy now. It's like, last night, there was, like, all these guys running around. And they were fucking bugged out, acting crazy as shit. And I'm like, yo, calm y'all asses down. But, um, you know. Actually, I went out to one of the guys, like, really nice looking. He was, like, light skin. He had, like, you know, big afro, like, blonde tips or whatever. So, like, you want to see if he wanted to talk. But, um, I don't know. They were just running around like they was crazy or whatever. Like, crude up. I'm trying to be booed up, not crude up. So, I got this, like, <laughs> hot pink, you know. This is my club shirt. Like, I used to wear this when I go out to the gay club. I'd be out there voting, you know. Doing my <laughs> so, I ain't been out to no gay club in, like, hella, hella long. I stopped clubbing in general. I just like to go out dancing. I got this, um, I think this kind of looks Illuminati-ish, so I don't really wear this one. But I, like, it, it inspired me because I, I want to do with my um, drawings is, like, you know, make t-shirts. So, you know. Um, what else do I have? Oh, this is my favorite shirt. I love this. I love this. I love this. It's the Lion of Judah. You see, it's like Rastafarian. I said I'm going to keep this one out. I'm glad I found it. Let me show you this one right here. Because I got, <laughs> you see, I'm like really into like lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. And bears. <laughs> and bears. You know, so I like really like, uh, like the Rasta vibe, you know. So that's my thing or whatever. What's this one right here? Oh, this one's kind of evil. <laughs> this is uh, Heaven and Hell. This is kind of, you know, some like gothic shit. Or, like if I wear like these black skinny jeans. I like to wear all black. These all black skinnies. I don't like to dress like that because it's spooky, you know. But my, my aunt told me don't dress like that. And even then, you want to put on, like, some, you know, some color up in there, like, pop a color. Pop a collar. I remember pop a collar, you know. This is, um, this shirt is so funny. <laughs> I like pink shirts. It says, just a stud muffin looking for a cupcake. <laughs> this is at Target for Valentine's Day, so I thought that was, like, really hilarious. So, um, I got this one. This one's really cute, too. I like this shirt. I wear this one all the time, though. I wear this one all the time. I got this in Duluth from um, Air. They have a really good Aeropostale out there. They closed it down, which is sad. Like, they're like the coolest cheap store, but I don't know. Like, it just didn't like go over well. Kind of different in Minnesota. I got this one. It's got a little Native American kind of thing thing. It's a little dream catcher. See, I like dream catchers. So, it's nice. Actually, once again, I got that in here. That like kind of it's like right there i like this thing and then i got my dream catcher so my buddha that's a uh, ganesh this is like a rasafari and this thing right here is like from indonesia i got it from pier one um it was really cheap but it was crazy it was this um really nice gay man in pier one he's like no this belongs to you like you know it was on i had to wait till it was on clearance and then he, uh, you know, he gave, once again, he gave me a discount or whatever and brought it down to like $40 or something, you know. So I got this one too. <laughs> this is a little like, you know, some like, you know, if I ever like, you know, get a little buffer, it's like, like body conscious stuff. This is my favorite shirt. I love this shirt. This is my Let's Fall in Love in the springtime. So it's just a basic yellow shirt that I got from um, TJ Maxx again for my job. So I got a discount. Uh, let's see what else. This one's really cool. This is an Aztec shirt. It's like the Aztec, the Aztec calendar. You see, you know. Like I, I, I probably wouldn't rock this one. You know, I was thinking about making it into a um, into a pillow, but I was like, nah, I can't fuck with this. Like this is like the culture, cultura. This is like the big dog right here. You know. Like a super fine. Once again, Duluth thrift store. If you're ever in Duluth, Minnesota, or if you're watching this and you live in Duluth, Minnesota, hit up fucking Hermantown Savers. Goddamn Savers, y'all got some good shit and take good care of it. You know, it's one thing in, in Duluth. They're kind of like um, like really like humble, like blue collar working class people in Minnesota, but they take really good care of their stuff. You know, and the secret about the thrift store is is that. Instead of throwing it out, you know, they put it in thrift stores, like recycled, you know. So I just go up in there and like, I 
got thirty dollars, you know, and I just ball out, you know, and pop tags. And then I got uh, this one. It's kind of cool, you know. Uh, what's this one here? Oh, uh, this is new. My mom got me this one. It's a guest shirt. Guess is like an old brand or whatever. Um, see, I, I got I get basic shit too. You know, this is just basic. You know, so I don't want to wear like crazy shit all the time. So I just wear like you know like back in the day like these. You know, you want to like have shoes that match your shirt. You know, or like something they match. You know, so you have done now. So uh, this one's really cool. Once again, Minnesota <laughs> Duluth, like soda. They got all the hot shit. You know. And um, let me see what this one is. More tigers, <laughs> more tigers, more tigers. You know, I got this one from Walmart. Believe it or not, I got this from Walmart. I mean, this was H and M. I thought this was Walmart, but um, I'm uh, the <laughs> the socks. You see the socks and the, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all pothead shit. You looking fierce, right? And this is my last one. This is my favorite. I saved this one for last. This is my favorite. This is The Legend of Zelda. You know? You guys know this one? I wear this one all... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smells like I wear this one all the time. Woo, shit. I need some deodorant. <laughs> I need some deodorant. But, um, yeah. So, that's about it. I don't want to show off anymore. You know? Like, I'm trying to rob a nigga. But, um... I don't know, what else can I show you guys? Like, oh, I know, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite. Uh, let me show you. I just want to give a shout out to the Hopkins family. Um, uh, Baby Dirk, <laughs> Baby Dirk, uh, you know, I don't know if me and your brother are going to continue to be friends or whatever because he's just, like totally blanking me. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. But, you know, you guys have just been my my homies since back in the day. You know, so I got my car fixed and I left Minnesota. But we stayed in touch for like six months. You know, I stopped. stopped. Fishing. Final Fantasy 12. You know. Uh, that's the only video game I have right now. So, like, it sucks. Um, also, I wanted to give a shout out to Selly Cell. Um, uh, uh, Soundly Awake. Um, Miles J. Hi, Miles J. Ooh, uh, boogie. You know, um, um, I'm new to YouTube, so I'm kind of like, you know, I don't really know what to do with it. But, you know, I'm on here and um, I'm just going to keep watching the news. And um, hopefully, like, you know, they got Stormy Daniels coming up next week to see if they're going to, like, um, get rid of the Cheeto. And then maybe we can just, you know, be a happy American people. Um, hopefully shit don't go down. I'm just being paranoid. But, you know. Just live your life, you know, be a good person if you can. Um, oh, public service announcement. I don't know how many people are like um, about it, about it, but uh, I'm old school, so uh, I always keep the, the rubbers on deck, you know. Um, I ain't trying to get pregnant. <laughs> I ain't trying to get pregnant. And, uh, you know, if I'm getting it popping and we're not in an intimate thing like that, then, you know, I'm going to, you know, wrap it up, strap it up, you know, and we can still get it popping or whatever. Even I don't really get it popping like that, you know. Shit, I fall in love, you know. Like, even right now, I'm just like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, you broke my heart, motherfucker. I'm going to bust your kneecap, nigga. <laughs> or I'll hold you down, you know. So, uh, this is the, what's left of my video game collection. I got the old school hits. I'm a big this this these actually games actually saved my life in high school, especially this one. Like my mom and dad were like really, really um they were more abusive to each other back then. They just kinda ignored me, you know, but they would like scream and shout and fight and bitch this and fuck your mother that and you monkey bitch this and you know, and I'd be like, Excuse me, <laughs> I have a chemistry exam to fail tomorrow. <laughs> I can't deal with this, you know. So I'd go downstairs and just play video games for hours, you know. Um, so these are my old schools. I got this one, which I'm really proud of. Um, Breath of Fire. I think in here is, um, do I have, let me see. Yeah, Busted Groove. Actually, I don't have Chrono Trigger, unfortunately. I got Busted Groove, you know. Let me see what's in here. Yeah, I'm actually kind of sad. I'm missing my Chrono Trigger. I got the Tribe Called Quest, Midnight Marauders. 
And um, these are just my Avatar DVDs. It's got Avatar. I kind of like having them all spread out. And old school Marvin Gaye, you know. Like, my mom threw away all the rest of my stuff just being abusive. So I used to have, like, all kinds of shit. But um, still trying to deal with that or whatever. Um, I don't want to show off anymore. That's about it for me, um, you know. Uh, like I said, I'm working on some projects. I'm in the lab cooking up, uh, you know, creativity and positivity and um, fierceness, ferocity, you know. I'm a real chill guy, um, regular dude, you know. And, um, Chris Humphreys. <laughs> Hi, Chris Humphreys. <laughs> um, Wakanda Forever. If you haven't seen Black Panther, I've seen it like three times. <laughs> it's the shit. Um, I'm a big uh, Lauryn Hill fan. India Irie, Jill Scott. My favorite rappers, like, for all time would be Nas. My favorite rapper of all time is Nas. The new school, I'm digging Kendrick. Like, Kendrick, to me, is like Tupac. You know, he's like the new legendary one. Um, I like Donald Glover. Um, J. Cole is my dude, man. J. Cole's got the depth. He's got the heat. Um, I'm an old school Wu-Tang Clan fan, actually. I grew up on the crime side, the New York Times side. Staying alive is no jive. Had second hands. And mom's bounced the old man, so then we moved to Shaolin Land. Um, big, big uh, Red Man and Method Man fan. Um... Who else do I dig? Um, Khalees. I'm like the biggest Khalees fan ever. She's like, that's mother. <laughs> mother Khalees. And then um, if you haven't checked out Khalees, her first album is called Kaleidoscope. Like, Khalees is like the punk rock Beyonce, you know. I'm also a pretty big Sierra fan. Uh, Mary J. Blige. I love Mary J. Blige. I'm an old man. You know, I'm in my 30s or whatever. But even as far as that, I like, like Marvin Gaye and like um, Stevie Wonder, Al Green. This is all that old shit, you know. I, I like, um, that's my shit. I listen to old shit. I'm Prince, of course, Prince. God rest his spirit, you know. And um, let me see. Yeah, that's about it, you know. I like um, just like the chill. Um, um, I I would go out around D.C. Like I used to be pretty popping on the D.C. scene as far as like the U Street um dance scene and the um like George Avenue poetry and stuff. But um, before I went to Minnesota, you know, but um, it's changed. Like, oh, my God, like, my city is not my city anymore. Like, I mean, like, everybody around here is, like, pissed off. Like, what the fuck? What have they done? To like, D.C. is not, like, Chocolate City no more, you know. it's I guess it's, like, gentrified Brooklyn or whatever. So it's, like, hella, hella depressing. Like, the whole, even, like, I was, I was getting tested for um, STDs, you know. And the dude, he was, like, breaking the shit down. He was like, these are, like, $1,000 a month fucking Soho villas and shit. Where it used to be, like, <laughs> like crackheads. You know, old folks smoking weed in their front porch. Winos and shit. We liked it that way. Like, then nobody really fuck with us. You know, they was just, they was just you know, a little like, ah. Hey, you got a beer? <laughs> Put your money here and let me get a beer. <laughs> and then had this, like, you know, like a bum that be sitting on the road. Like, be like, nah, nah, get that nigga some money. So he honest. He just want a beer, you know. So um, yeah, I don't go out as much. Like I said, I'm just kind of taking it easy. Like like if I like I said, if I had a, um, if I had a partner or, or a dude, you know, I, I don't like say boyfriend all the time. And I was dating some guy that I like, you know, that I really really like, and um, you know, he text me on the regular and make my hotline bling. Um. You know, I'd be chill. You know, that's what I do. Whenever my like my dude texts me, I'm like, oh, shit, lay down and watch Netflix. <laughs> you know, because I used to be, like, thotty as hell. Like, <laughs> you know, I was, like, popping like shit while I was baby popping. But I would go out all the time, you know, dance all night, get phone numbers and, like, you know, other things. <laughs> you know, but I was like, that's not me. You know, if I just had, like, one little homie to chill with or whatever. And even we just, you know, talk or whatever, you know, and like, you know, and like, um, cause I, I know I'm like, got my own thing or whatever, you know, like kind of unique and it's not always fun to be like this. It's not like, but, um, you know, I just kind of have more confidence in myself to just be me and not have to be me for somebody else or to please somebody else or to, um, be um, suitable for somebody else any more so than like I'll cook you a good meal and like you know I'm like you know kind of girly so like I'm like like the like lay on a guy's chest and we watch like fucking sports or Netflix you know like poot it up you know <laughs> all poot it up and shit you know um, yeah so um, 
Um, that's about it. I'm going to stop rambling now. And, um, you know, I want to share this video. God, I've been talking for like an hour now. <laughs> How many of you have tuned out? <laughs> well, if you've um, made it this far, um, I just want to tell you that... Um, what did I want to say? What did I want to say? I got a pocket full of piranhas. I'm hot like a sauna. They don't want it with hoes. I'm smoking like a stove, chilling in the pirate's cove. I got the voodoo doll spray painting the walls. And all's y'all's hustlers got the marijuana. And apart from this retail greed, all I need is that weed, weed, weed. Shall I proceed? Yes, indeed. I'm blazing blunts at high noon and pumping MF doom. I'm off the planet blunt and I ain't coming down soon. I got a clip that'll rearrange your whole set. And got a pair that I ain't even rocked yet. Do I to you look like a lame who ain't a bad dude? What a mean shoe game. I keep a pink stun gun and a spray of haters raid. I make them roaches disperse. And I'm the worst. It's smoking on them roaches. In La Noche. See, poor La Manana. You poor baby mamas and militant dads. Niggas living bad because the Zulu Gestapo. What killer man Jaro and not La Montaigne. Trying to contain you and take away your freedom. I say fuck them because I know we doesn't need them. They ills we must defeat them. Our kids we need to feed them. Teach your children wisdom. Reality today. Dot, dot, dot. So yeah, uh, oh, one more. I'm stepping out like a bad on the gata. So a kata. You know what I say, like, nah, nah, but BG Bay. And if you going my way, we on the highway, the flyway. And I'm sky high, so I fly away. And then I came back, I had to hit him with the track to make him dance. I'm standing bow-legged in Yoji Yamamoto pants. A bulletproof stance and a pocket full of dough. Oh, no, I got a pocket full of dro. I'm kawaii, that's nay, from around the way. And if you talking to me right, I be your nah, nah, boogie 